How the high street has changed in the 40 years up to 2022. In 1982, I was very concerned about the number of old buildings disappearing in the town, so I photographed Orpington High Street to create a record. I have gone back at regular intervals ever since to photograph and in 2022 video. So what has changed between 1982 and 2022? Do you remember the police station built and demolished during the time of this survey? In this video, we'll look at the newest area of the high street, the Walnuts, which has seen probably the most change in the period with a police station coming and going, the DHSS building going, and a new cinema and hotel arriving in the centre of Orpington. The Walnuts is predominantly 1970s built shopping, sports and educational area. There is also a proposal currently being considered for considerable expansion. Make sure you stay to the end to see everything that has changed and also what has not. Some is quite surprising. Please subscribe to get updates as I release them. Brought to you by Eclectic Experience, change seen through images. In 1982, when I first photographed the Walnuts, it was under 10 years old and still had the original logos. Zooming in, notice how far into the centre the doors are. The entrance changed a few times over the years, as did the shops facing the high street. By 1997, the entrance had been changed considerably, with the doors brought level with the high street, a bigger window, a canopy, and some poles added. It was still the same in 2007 before by 2012 there was new signage and the poles had been removed. Then it changed again by 2017 with new signage and cladding which was still there in 2022. These are the four different fascias over the 40 years. At the other main entrance from the High Street, Lloyds Bank has been there on the left throughout the survey, though the unit on the other side has had a few tenants. A key point is in the 1982 picture we can see that Art used to face the High Street. This and the mouldings by the Lloyds building are the only public art that I am aware of in Alpington. The mouldings by Lloyds are still there, but the High Street facing art was either covered up or removed as we can see as we look through the years. In 1982, looking back towards the entrance by Lloyds Bank, the view is very different to 2022. The building on the left has been replaced by the Premier Inn, and on the right, Odeon has arrived on the site of the open area, grass and government buildings. Zooming in, even the buildings on the far right have had extensions added to the roof. Going back to 1982 and looking the other way, we can see the Halifax used to be here before moving on to the main high street. Also, next door was the job centre. And as we zoom in further, we can see the old Sainsbury's logo, when it used to be in its old position where Poundland is now. For a significant part of this survey, the Walnuts had a large grassed area in front of a government building that I think was the old DHSS offices. It is last seen in the 2012 photo. From the 1997 photos, up to and including the 2012 ones, there was a large glass market area. This survived until the Odeon development happened and it was removed. Another interesting point was that a popular cafe, the Silver Lounge, which had a very 1970s look and feel, was here on the corner where the Easy Cafe is now right up until the plot was developed after 2012. Looking towards the inside section of the Walnut Shopping Centre, this is what it looked like before the Odeon development, and this is after. Quite a radical change. Looking out from the covered area in 2022, then back to 1982, it was vastly different and has changed an incredible amount. We have bare concrete pillars, and wide open grass. Also look at the very distinctive 1970s advertising boards and the adverts on them. The view had hardly changed by 1992, but by 1997 the concrete pillars had been painted, a glass canopy added and the advertising columns gone. Here is a different view of the glass market square that had also arrived by 97. 
Looking in 2012, we can see the glass canopy clearly. But note, by 2022, it had been removed, returning to the original covered walkway area. This is the view of the square with the college and library in 2022, and is an area that has seen considerable change. Starting with the police station, well, in 1982 it was under construction and only the steelwork exists. As an aside, look at the billboards and the adverts. I don't remember orange label T, but do remember the Ford Fiesta and I think the Ford Escort seen on the second board. Looking through the steelwork, we can see the houses on Homefield Rise that have now been demolished and the building that currently holds Sainsbury's but then was main stop. But that is practically unchanged from this angle, looking over the 40 years. In 1982, the nearest police stations to Orpington were either in Locks Bottom or St Mary Cray, so a new local police station was quite something. Here we can see it through the years. It did not change much, but we can see that the area around has. From this angle, the biggest change was when the library arrived, having moved from the Priory. It can be seen clearly here with its distinctive blue colour in 2017, at the same time as the mixed-use building that replaced the police station was under construction. Looking from another angle in 2022, we move round the square, and at the end we see the college, that itself has seen a lot of change since the original tower block was built. Here we see the college in 1997, and from the rear, with some renovations going on, Orpington College has expanded considerably since 1982. Here is a change in signage from Orpington College to the Orpington campus of the London South East Colleges. At the rear of the site, for many years, there were temporary huts used for community purposes, which we can see here in 2007. By 2012, there has been a major expansion, which can be seen here from various different angles in these photos. From the front, we can also see how it was in 2012 and then by 2017. There is the addition of the BR6 restaurant, which has made quite a difference to the presence of the college on the square. The Walnut Sports Centre. This is the view in 2022. When the sports centre arrived with its swimming pool in Orpington in the 1970s, it was amazing. No more travelling to go swimming and a really decent pool as well. Looking at the photos over the years, there does not seem to have been a lot of change. The entrance has been extended, a bit of decorating signage. So I've looked deeper. Let's compare the 1992 image with 2022. The only change by 1992 from 1982 is the addition of the green Bromley sign underneath the Walnuts Leisure Centre. However, by 2022, there is no sign at all. The other main significant change is that the entrance has been extended. Looking at the roof, there is now a handrail and a few extensions. Something has not changed if we switch the photos is that in every other part of the high street, the paving has changed at least once, but not here. This is still the distinctive 1970s layout. Also, the footbridge, where these photos were taken from, is unchanged, though it is a lot more battered by 2022. This is the view in 2022 of the car park and the Saxon Centre. It is taken from the public footpath that runs behind the Walnuts. Up until 2012, not much has changed from 1982. Note the grass next to the Saxon Centre and the car park tower. Come 2017, the grass has been replaced by car parking spaces and there is more signage on the tower, but other than that it is pretty much the same in 2022. The view from behind the Walnuts by the roundabout on Homefield Rise and Lichgate Road illustrates change quite clearly. These are views from 2022. In 1982, we can see Mainstop through the steelwork of the police station that was under construction. Then, in 1992, 
we can see Marks and Spencers and its car park now occupying the building over the top of the enclosed police compound. By 2002, the view is much the same. And this is the rear of the police station in 2012. Then, from 2017, we can see the extent of the development on the police station site before seeing what it looks like in 2022. Coming round the corner on Litchgate Road, we can see the old hut in 2002 and 2007, before, in 2012, they had been replaced by the current college buildings. As an aside, on Litchgate Road there is a wall that seems to serve little purpose, as it can easily just be a bank. If I remember correctly, it was built because there was a large old tree here, which died unfortunately some time ago. I like to think that it was a walnut tree, one that the centre was named after. The walnuts area of the town centre has seen the most change in the 40 years of the survey, with the expansion of the college, the arrival of the library, hotel and Odeon cinemas, as well as the police station arriving and going. And that doesn't include all the changes to the shops. There's also been the public art, the arrival and departure of a covered market area, and the removal of the old government buildings. I have highlighted only some of the changes. I know there are a lot more I have not covered, including the enclosed area of the walnuts, which unfortunately I do not have any photos of. If you've enjoyed this video, at the end there is a link to a playlist of my High Street videos. Please have a look. Please subscribe to the channel, click the alerts bell and add comments, especially with any additional information. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images.